Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue our adventure through Wannabe Blight Town. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did absolutely nothing. All right. With that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, where were we at last time? Here, I think. I think we need to go up here. I wonder if we can get over to that house, by the way. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, we can get over to the house. Oh, that's right. The dude that, like, legit jumped out at me. And then I never picked up the item. And then there was that over there and the bear. Okay, now I remember my surroundings. I think we're going back to puppets. Oh my good god, what the hell is that thing? What are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this supposed to be Pinocchio? Oh, that's so cool. Leaping amulet? Oh, yeah. No, I have plenty of stamina. That was cool, though. I... I like the puppet string. I guess I just have to hold L2 down to do that. Mm, I feel like, yeah, you're a trap. It's on the outside, though. If we can mess this thing up so we can go down there and take care of the other big-ass puppet thing, that would be amazing. Oh, we could have went inside. Oh, you're not dead. Damn. Hopefully it, it stays dead. That'd be nice. Oh, this is to get across here. Oh, and then from the bottom, there was a doorway. That's right. Okay. Things are coming back to me. It just takes me a minute. Pretty forgetful. Okay, where's this butterfly at? And let's put 
this on and this on. Damn it, butterfly. Let me kill you. It's for your own good, motivity. Yeah, man. I really don't need motivity or any of those, to be honest. Ow. Can we not? Hey, you're just getting on my nerves at this point. You step over here, big boy, where we can actually fight. Wonder if you can break these boxes. Can you break these boxes? Come on over here. Break this box. Walk away from me. Come on. Uh, I don't think I don't think you can break the boxes. Where are you going? You get back over here. Oh, awesome. I didn't even get to get that off because it glitched into the ground. Oh, another quartz. Now let's just go around, pick stuff up. No, oh, of course. <laughs> Another butterfly. Where you at, butterfly? Somewhere over here. Just a matter of where. Good lord, where are you at? Come on. Okay, I don't have time for you, puppet. I'm trying to kill a butterfly. Okay, now I have time for you. Should have just left me alone. I think we've already been over there. We have. That's where that puppet that wants to be human is. Another butterfly? Okay, let's kill this guy first.
Oh, hey, there's something up there. But how do we get over there? Over this way. Um, there's stuff down there and I feel like it's going to break on me. Oh, who are you? I'm bringing out my good sword for you. Ah, this must be quite an urgent patient to seek out my humble abode. You are still breathing. I must treat you quickly. Grant cannot have any more live patients. Trust me, it's better this way. Tis far nobler to die as a human. Oh, man. No vital signs. You must be dead. I'll dispose of you properly. What was her name? Uh, I don't recall. Man, that family just <laughs> has some really bad luck. Okay, so we just came down there to kill the owl doctor, huh? All right, well, that works. Let's bring out our foil sword or whatever it is. We went up that way already. Now it's just time for us to move on. You know what? Let's put that back on. Just in case we need some puppet string. Oh yeah, that's right. Got to go up and around.
Well, it seems like we're progressing through here at a decent rate. Um, it's down over here. Oh, that's where we went before. I don't trust anything anymore. Everything has tried to kill me. Whoa! An earthquake! That came from the direction of Krat Central Station. Oh, this could be bad, pal. Really, really bad. I agree. Grab this stargazer real fast. There's an NPC over there, and it might be somebody I gotta fight again. Hopefully not. <sighs> there must be some way to open this. Aladora would know. Uh, hey, are, are you a treasure hunter too? Strange to me, someone in my line of work. I know how this looks, but I'm not a thief or anything. <laughs> I am on a serious expedition. You wouldn't happen to know a, a treasure hunter named Alidoro, would you? I'm a big fan. I plan my expeditions to follow Alidoro's traces, but ugh, this lock has me at a dead end, and I so wanted to explore the hermit's cave. Oh, all I can do is keep plugging away. If you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Life is short, and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish what time I've got. All I can do is keep plugging away. Uh, if you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Let's talk to him about Alidoro and about the discovered treasure. You never heard of Alidoro? He's a treasure hunter and one of the best. And unlike a lot of the riffraff in Krat, he's not a thief. He's a pro who excavates antiquities methodically. And professionalism is important when you're talking about Ergo. Just mention Ergo and everyone cares about the history behind the ruins. That's why Alidoro has the reputation he does. The quality of his information and the condition of the antiquities are on another level. I know there are rumors about Alidoro lately, but I know jealousy when I hear it. The rumors? <laughs> well, for starters, they're nonsense. Alidoro is the last person you'd suspect of crimes like fraud and theft and assault. It's crazy. I've even seen a wanted poster of him. Those alchemists must be behind it. Those guys act like they own the ruins and they don't want treasure hunters to earn an honest living. I mean, come on. We're talking about the Alidoro who saved all those lives in the workshop tower rubble. So, no. I don't believe a word of it. Ugh, would you get a load of this? I grabbed it as a souvenir, but it's just malicious propaganda. You take it. Life is short, and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish... All I can do is keep plugging... So, we're going to probably have to confront Alidoro. My treasure? Well, this is what I've got so far. It's a cryptic vessel. A sort of cipher device. But I don't know how it works. I don't want to throw it away. I think it's a clue to some stolen goods. I found it between the corpses of two thieves who died fighting over it. You know what they say. No honor among thieves. But I can't make heads or tails of it. If you want it, it's yours. 
Life is short. All I can do is. Okay, that's all. Let's sit at this stargazer. So let's not go any further. Let's actually go talk to some people. Alidoro, where where was he at? He was somewhere. I cannot remember. We'll have to find him in a minute. Okay, I just wanted to make sure who would, needed to talk to me and whatnot. We'll start with you, Jenny. Hey, about my request last time. Did you give Ali Doro the gloves? Phew. Even the union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right, I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Ali Doro happy? Uh, we're gonna say that he was happy because he's a jerk. Really? What a relief! I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. Gloves seemed a logical gift because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the Hound's sacrifice back then. I, uh, I don't want to think about it, and yet I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying, but I'm gonna start now. Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with my thanks. So I lied to her because I didn't want her feelings hurt, but I think that he still had a finger. I don't know if that's Alidoro. Interesting. At the house of Vanini, Master Vanini's collection box, you are indeed full of surprises, sir. Patrons of prestige can always count on seeing a bit more than the average customer. I am talking about you, sir. Shall we pay a visit to the House of Vanini's private reserve? At the House of Vanini. Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, yes. Yes, please. I mean, I guess I'm going to grab all this stuff up. Might as well. I have plenty of ergo. Uh, let's see. I like the continuous heal, but... But I think it'll be better if I put on, is it this one? It is. And then we'll put this on as well. I hear there is a new guest at the hotel. And that you had a little something to do with that. 
I just find saving people is its own reward. I certainly don't need the money. <laughs> Even strangers. Everyone deserves some help now and then. If we who live through times like this don't live the best lives we can, we dishonor the memories of all we have lost. Honoring the lost is why I do what I do. In a way, I envy the dead. They don't have to know what it's like to remember that they're gone. Ha! <laughs> and here I go again. Blah, 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 and who cares? <laughs> now, let's get out there and save my... That is our city. <laughs> the Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? <laughs> Very well. Geppetto himself created it, and I... God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet, a sort of... conscience. And in theory, it should have prevented anything like the puppet frenzy ever happening. It's because we don't truly understand ergo, at least that's my view. Sometimes ergo-driven puppets gain what we call awakened egos. Individuality, more or less. Which is a dangerous thing if someone's not ready to handle it. Though that is rare. Or used to be. Hence, the Grand Covenant. Humanity's safety net. But it did not work. The puppet frenzy happened anyway. And I still don't know how. So... The King of Puppets, how did he get around the Covenant, I wonder? He used the Ergo Wavelengths, but what did he do to their consciences? However, it's a different story when a single puppet cracks the safety device of so many puppets. Does the Grand Covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the Grand Covenant? If it's the former, the King of Puppets is the culprit. If it's the latter, the King of Puppets is a means to an end. I am but a simple, brilliant genius and a man about town. I do not pretend to be otherwise. That is why I'm asking you to solve this. Everything depends on what you do now and your choices. I always welcome friends. There you are. Now, just leave this to me. Done and done. You will find Venini always seeks to rise to the challenge at hand. Mm, an old shack in the tomb slums? I don't know. Don't want to switch that. Modify. Do we have enough? No. We're going to save our caliber. Let's talk to Sophia. Whatever choice you make. Nope. Anybody else to talk to in here? I doubt it. No. Let's upgrade our weapon real fast and then we're going to head back over to um Full Moonstone. Uh back over to that swamp. Okay, what I want to do is come over here.
Okay, so if I remember correctly, he should be just over here, I think. And he is. Let's try to confront him about this wanted poster. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worth... Hmm. What's this? A poster singing my praises? Oh dear, your practical jokes go too far. A, a wanted poster? <laughs> right, yeah. Let me, let me explain. There is an unscrupulous reporter called Medoro, and he's the epitome of yellow journalism, and he only writes favorable articles if you bribe him. One time, I didn't give him a certain antique he wanted, and he slandered me, just like this. What has this world come to? Even noble explorers searching for true history get lambasted for all to see. <sighs> Perhaps I should be pleased that this scrap of paper is powerless, as there's no authority to pay the reward. You can keep it as a souvenir. You're a worthy hunter, and it... Um, okay. He has five fingers, though. Maybe that's a thing that the developers couldn't put in, but I don't know. But he's like, ah, oh, the gloves don't fit. And I think because it was missing a finger. Oh, cool. Let's go over here. Go talk to this guy here. Life is short. And All I can do is keep plugging. Uh, you actually met Alidoro and asked him about the wanted poster. That's odd. Alidoro and Medoro are friends. When I was hurt, he took me to Medoro, who was one of the first on the scene. Medoro is quite the medic. He saved me when the workshop tower fell. There's got to be a logical explanation. The Alidoro I admire would never talk about a friend like that. But well, who knows? Maybe that wanted poster is real. You keep an eye on him if you see him again. In times like these, when truth and lies are blurred, the only thing to believe is your gut instinct about a person. I trust Alidoro. He wants to save people and seek out the truth. Anyhow, you gave me the first lead on Alidoro I've had in months. Take this in return. Consider it a gift suitable for times like these. Life is short. All I can do is keep... Let's go back to Alidoro after we talk to him. I think we're going to end the video. You're a worthy hunter, and it is... Hmm. Okay. Well, we can't talk to him. So we'll go back to where Hugo was. And we'll end the video. And when we come back, we'll finish up the swamp. Hopefully. Alrighty, everyone, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, 
or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.